Hey guys, I'm Nathaniel Deal, and I'm here to talk a little bit more about the Dark Counter. So uh, a little bit of history of the Dark Counter. The Dark Counter kind of came around uh, a year ago when I was working on my first Nerf turret. Uh, I wanted a way to kind of count the darts so that I could turn the turret off. Um, and it kind of became a little side project and I've made a couple of videos of it. I had a lot of comments, a lot of praise. So um, people were having some trouble making it and I kind of took the project back on to make it a little bit easier for people to integrate into their guns. So um, one thing that I did was I worked with a couple of manufacturers to make some custom PCB boards, which would take away a lot of the wiring involved in making one of these. Um, because Nerf Blasters don't have a lot of space inside, uh, I wanna make it as slim as possible to kind of get in there, do the job, and not interfere with any of the uh, uh, internals of the, the Nerf gun. This was the prototype, as you can see, it kind of consisted of a lot of wiring, a couple of breadboards, and an Arduino. Uh, the second version, I kind of made a little bit slimmer, but still used uh, analog components, and it actually was fitted into my Swarmfire. The version I'm going to show you today is a lot thinner. It can be integrated into a number of Nerf blasters. You can integrate it into a scope, you can integrate it into the shell. Uh, I just want to kind of get it out there give it to some of the modders out there, make sure that they have what they need to, to get it up and running. And then I just wanna kinda wait back and, and see what the feedback is gonna be on it so that the next version will be even better. So uh, without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so before we get started on V3, I kinda wanna take a quick tutorial of V2 uh, to just show everyone who, who hasn't seen the other videos how this one worked. Um, so it's a two digit seven segment LCD, still used in the new version. Um, along with these female connectors, there are 14 resistors in between these two breakout boards. The breakout boards contain the shift registers. They're very tiny. But the shift registers, I'll go over what they actually do here in a second. And then it just ports back out to the connectors for the Arduino. The Arduino only uses three wires, um, three ports. So you can use any Arduino with this setup. Um, and then a positive and a negative and this one actually fit into the nitron scope so now that the new one actually uses this custom pcb board which contains the two shift registers you need an arduino you need another pc board that was created especially for a seven segment lcd and this actually fits right into the middle of this and the resistors are already on the board. So it saves a lot of space compared to this one where I had to wire each one of these resistors into um, this system. So the new system contains these three parts, four parts, along with the female wires You'll need this for this Arduino. You can also use a different Arduino that already has a port on it. This is the Pro Mini version that I got from SparkFun. I really like this one, so I still go with it. Um, and then you'll need some headers. So uh, when I send out these parts, I believe that I'll probably just go ahead and solder all these things together so that you won't have to worry about the soldering. And then you can just wire it up and kind of put it wherever you want it to go. The new system is a lot leaner. Excuse the mess here, but you can actually just worry about the part that you wanna see. Um, you can use straight headers or you can use bent headers, depending on how you wanna get this fitted um, into your system. Uh, I'll be soldering them with, with the straight headers, so if you want bent headers and you know exactly what you wanna do with it, let me know. But, um, so the new system is just this piece, this portion here that you can actually cut a hole in the shell of your gun uh, similar to the swarm fire, this one here, you can cut a hole here and then just keep everything else separate. So I I made this one so that the di the digits is kind of all you have to worry about. Everything else will be tucked away um, into another place. Uh, the the wires can be varied in length. Um, these are just the size that they come in. Uh, when I do an external version, I will cut the wires down to about here and then mount it using one of the Nerf rails 
and a couple of wires for the uh, the power source and the IR beams. Um, this the system I worked before that I made before used these these two IR beams, basically so that once this beam was cut, it would send a signal to the Arduino to tell the countdown to go down. Um, you can use this, you can use a button, you can use whatever you want to tell the Arduino what to do. And I will be around to kind of help uh, edit the code so that you can get the performance that you're looking for. Um, as for this one, it's wired up, set to 20. It's wired up to this button just for demo purposes. But you can click the button and it'll go down. You can also set reset buttons to reset to 20 or whichever number you're counting. You can also put in switches so that you can change the count from 6 to 12 to 18 to 20 to 25 to 35, which are most of the ranges that the Nerf uh, bullets come in. You can use two IR beams, say that once you load uh, your, your darts in, you can automatically count each one while you're loading. And that would actually, sorry, it wouldn't be for the darts, that would be for the, uh, the Zeus. So I know a couple of people that want to use this on their uh, Nerf rival guns, and two IR, IR beams would be would be optimal there. So uh, this is the new system. It's a lot of wires as of now because it's not compact, but really all it is is this piece, this piece, and then the Arduino, which is a lot smaller in this version. Um, and then a power source. You can use an um, Ultrafire. You can use an IMO battery pack. You can even wire it off of the um, the system that comes with a gun. Say if you are using a uh, Raven or a Rapid Strike, uh, for sure. I'm sure it could handle a little bit of voltage just going to this because it doesn't use a lot of voltage uh, to get it done. So I'm just gonna step through the code real quick, um, just so you can kind of get an overview of how it looks. If you're a programmer, this may be familiar. If not. It may be foreign. Um, this code will be on my GitHub along with the uh, 123 Circuits account that I have, um, which will allow you to build the same system and edit the code so that you don't have to actually use your Arduino or maybe mess something up um, to get the same results. So um, one quick note is that the initial count here is set to 20. Whatever you set this to will be the number that shows when you first start. Um, then we're setting the pins for reset and counter. Uh, once this goes low, it's set it high. Once it goes low, it'll reset. Once the counter pin goes low, it'll count down. Uh, we have the three pins for the ship registers. So if you set your Arduino up um, on a different pin, you will need to change these. Um, as far as the loop here, um, it just kind of loops through and makes sure that the reset state or the counter state weren't triggered. If so, it'll call these two functions. I'm just gonna skip ahead to the change number function. Um, so if the display count is less than 100 and greater than nine, it will take that division of the first and second digit and send it to a function below. Um, and then it will change the display count to 19. Currently it was set to 20, now it's at 19. Um, the same thing happens between 0 and 10, and then if it's 0. Um, you can do a lot of things with these functions, especially with 0. You can make um, a siren go off or a beep go off so that if you're in gameplay, once you hear that beep, you know that you're out of out of darts. Um, so I'm going to scroll down here for display number. It's basically setting the first, taking this, this first and second number and sending it through these switch statements. A switch statement is going to take that 0 or that 1 or that 2 and, and go through and set the register pins to either low or high. If you set it to low, that means that that piece of the LED, uh, of the seven segment LED will turn on. So you'll see that there's seven segments here. And if you turn on the first five, you'll display a zero. Same for each one of these other cases down all the way down to uh, 10. Um, and then for the second number, there's an, another switch statement that does the exact same thing, kind of goes through and sets everything to low or high. Uh, and then down here at the bottom, uh, we, we set and display the, the registers by uh, opening up the register, pushing the, the digits in um, high or low, and then closing it. And that's how the whole system kind of works. 
Um, this may be a little confusing at first, but uh, once you look at it for long enough, it kind of just, um, it's second nature. Uh, again, if you're a programmer, shouldn't be that hard. Uh, if you're not, uh, I will work with you uh, for the ones that do get this um, to, uh, to help customize this code to work directly with um, your, your, your system that you want to set up. Okay, so that was a quick overview of how everything was set up. Um, if you do want one of these, I will be giving away 10 of them. Um, it'll be a small package uh, containing the shift register, uh, the PCB board with the LCD already connected, the headers, if, if you would like to request a, um, an angled header, I could put those on, or a straight header, uh, along with the wires, and I will not be sending Arduino, you'll have to order that yourself. Um, but I require that if, if I give this to you, that you will make a video uh, showing me how you used it so that I could use that information to uh, create the next version um, of this dark of this dark counter because um, I plan on selling them at around 50 bucks and if um, if I could get some of the community to get it out there and get it working in, in their blasters um, I believe that feedback will be very very useful in uh, creating the final product um, so thanks for watching please uh, leave comments below and I'll talk to you soon thank you so before we get started on v3 i want to kind of review v2 to make sure that we can get dogs in the background because that's what i love dogs in the background uh i guess you could cut a hole and maybe solder that in however you wanted to do it that was dumb how you used it so that i can learn uh to build a better better system a better better system i don't know what that is anybody that can want to use this It'll be available. Why am I still talking? Mess it up. Mess it up.